Okay, we're going to do a quick Google Earth flyover from the Grand Canyon heading north to Bryce and then to the southwest over to Zion. So from this initial image, we are looking to the north at the Kaibab Arch. The Kaibab Arch is an upturned part of the Colorado Plateau crust that brings strata to higher elevations such that the capping layer of the Kaibab Arch, which is the Kaibab Limestone, that same layer over to the right, to the east, is the capping layer of the mesas where the Little Colorado River has a confluence with the Big Colorado River, which is a couple thousand feet lower in elevation. So uh, this Kaibab Arch, it's an uplifted part of the crust, and there is a axis of a fold on the east side, which we call the East Kaibab Monocline, as you go farther to the north, it's called the Coxcomb Monocline. So here we are going from space down to the Grand Canyon. You can see the Kaibab Arch, that forested high topography. The Colorado River, of course, has carved this incredible canyon right through the Kaibab Arch. So now we're going to start flying to the north. The Colorado River is going off to the upper right, so we're leaving the Colorado River. We have the Vermilion Cliffs. Triassic strata now on the right, and this yellow line kind of marks the axis of this fold in the crust. The Coxcomb monocline up here to the north, such that older rocks are on the west side, younger rocks are on the east side. And at this point, we'll turn over to the east, heading over to the town of Tropic, and of course, Bryce National Park, the, the youngest of the strata of the Grand Staircase. Um, forming probably the world's greatest hoodoo factory at Bryce. So from Bryce, we have a high plateau called the Ponsagunt Plateau, and now we're turning to the southwest, and we're going to fly over a lot of the Dixie National Forest in order to get to Zion. So most of these rocks are either Cretaceous or younger tertiary capping younger strata, uh, but now we can start to see the headwaters of the Virgin River, which the Virgin River, of course, has carved down a couple thousand feet through this very resistant Jurassic Age Navajo sandstone, making these cliffs of 2,000 feet of uh, exposures of the Navajo sandstone. As we come into Zion Canyon, you can see Angel's Landing, this incredible promontory right in the middle of Zion Canyon there. Uh, one of the great hikes in North America. And so as we continue down canyon, this canyon carved by the Virgin River, over the town of Springdale, we'll go ahead and pretty much end our flight here, gradually pulling up to higher elevations, higher perspectives. So we're, we are going to be looking back to the south where we came from. You can see the Kaibab Arch uh, at the top of this image and uh, the Vermilion Cliffs and the axis of the Coxcomb fold there as well.